you are zoomed into the left side of the neck here. And for reference, here's the bottom of the earlobe. And what I actually want to show you on this dissection is the difference between arteries and veins. You might be thinking, well, how are you going to show me that? Well, I'm going to reflect this muscle called the platysma out of the way. This is a thin muscle on the neck that flares the skin of the neck, kind of a funny muscle. But then we also have a thicker muscle here called the sternocleidomastoid. I'll reflect that out of the way. And then we can see the internal jugular vein. Look at this vein and the characteristics of this vein. You can see pretty thin walled and pretty flimsy here. Veins have a thinner have thinner walls than arteries. And as you can see, it doesn't hold its shape much. If I hold that up to you, it easily collapses and doesn't bounce back. Whereas if I get to the counterpart, it's arterial counterpart, we have the common carotid artery here. But as you can see, a much thicker and compliant wall. Now, why would arteries need to have a thicker wall? Well, arteries take blood away from the heart, and so they're under more pressure, and so having a thicker, more muscular and elastic wall is going to help deal with those higher pressures. Plus, having elasticity in the wall of the artery, think about if blood gets pumped into an artery, it's gonna stretch, but then it's going to recoil, snap back. And what that will do is send the blood further downstream, and that actually makes it easier on the heart to have nice, compliant elastic arteries.